welcome back everybody to Conan Exiles. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to hit the volcano. And so we're going to pull out the staff here and uh, he should tell us that the volcano is the next place to go. If I can find what I did with the staff again, I'm always losing the damn thing. Uh, staff, staff, staff. Where are you, staff? There you are. All right, so let's put this joker down and see what he has to say about going to the volcano. This is a dangerous line of questioning. You should forget that you ever heard of that object. It would be better for you in the long run. Hmm. Okay. Apparently, when we heard about... The Shining Trapahozedron thingamadoodle, however you pronounce that thingamadoodle. <laughs> uh, we were supposed to put him down at that point. Um, so, yeah, I, got, I, didn't, I wasn't aware of that. So, anyway, I know where it is. I've gotten it several times, and it's up in the volcano. So, we are going to go to the volcano. Now, the thing about the volcano is that there are actual, actually multiple ways to get to it. Um... So one way you can get to the volcano is this ridge right here uh, is where we've been multiple times to get star metal. Uh, so the star metal kind of spawns in this entire area. But we've walked along this ridge a couple times in this series. And if you just continue walking along the ridge, you will eventually get to one of the entrances to the volcano. Now that entrance um, can also be... Um, you can also get to it from continuing on from the Black Keep and going up kind of through this little valley here. It's the same entrance. There's just two pass pathways that go up to it. Um, there's also an entrance all the way here on the uh, east side uh, that you can get to. Um, so if you're coming from, <clears throat> excuse me, the jungle, you can go through the passage and it's going to pop you out somewhere around up in here and then you can continue on. Now, we've also been up in this area, too, because uh, we went up here a, a long, long time ago to get some black ice. So there's an entrance volcano. This is a good one to, to use because it'll it'll bring you out um, right near the obelisk. And so this is my favorite entrance to use to the volcano. There's another one somewhere around in here, too. There's at least three. There might even be four, but there's at least three entrances uh, to the volcano. So if you're up in this area... You will see a, uh, I think it's a, it's a, like a, a maw, like a dragon maw or some other kind of, maybe a serpent maw. It's a big, huge cave with, you know, a mouth over that you can't miss it once you get to it. And then that'll also uh, bring you into the volcano too. Um, the, the way we're going to take is we're going to take this uh, eastern entrance because here again, it'll take us out right near the obelisk. And then we're going to set down a map room so that way... When we make uh, future trips to the volcano, we can just teleport straight there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get geared up for this. I have uh, I have some more potions cooking up. Um, okay, they're done. So let, let's take some more potions. I'm not going to worry too much about temperature uh, in the volcano. If you go there earlier in in the in your playthrough, it'll be a thing. But we have maximum heat resistance. Plus, we're wearing on top of that the armor. Uh, the Godbreaker armor, the chilled Godbreaker armor, which is going to even further help us stay uh, cool in the volcano. But if you, like I said, if you go up there in the, you know, the, you know, mid game or whatever, and you're not equipped for that, then the heat's going to be, uh, it can kill you. It is very hot up there, as as you can imagine in a volcano. So the way to handle that usually is to is to take some ice with you, and if you suck on the ice while you're up there, that'll help keep you cool. We will not need to do that though, because like I said, we're already uh, very resistant to heat at this point in time. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to make ourselves a map room uh, to take up there. I don't believe I have an extra map room. One thing I could do, I suppose, hmm, I could go just pick the one up that's over by War Makers because we don't really need to go over in that direction anymore. Um, so so at uh, Klalel Stronghold, just right about in here, I... I set down a map, uh, a map room. Um, so we could just go pick that one up, but then I'm going to have to come all the way back this way. Yeah. All right. What do we need to make the map room? We need to make 200 corrupted stones. 
uh, which is going to require all of this. So that's going to be stone, ichor, and demon blood. We've got plenty of demon blood in there already. Yeah, let's just make another one. It'll probably take less time to do that than it will be to run all the way over there, run all the way back here, and then and then go up. So let's just grab a stack of ichor here, and we should have stone in here, I'm thinking. Oh, maybe we need to go mine a little bit of stone. Is, is, that, a, is that one stone per thing? That's two, so that means we're going to need to mine... 400 stone, which we could probably do in a couple of hits. So uh, let's let's just go find a couple of stones here really quick, and uh, grab our uh, star metal pickaxe, and we just need 400 stone. Three ninety-three, almost got it. There we go. Now we have 400 stone. So yeah, we'll just <clears throat> excuse me. We'll just make a new map room and take it with us because I'm surprised they still haven't fixed the bug with the double weapons on your back. Looks like I have two arrows on my back, even though I don't. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, stick the stone and the ichor in there, and then we want to make um, here. Let's put the actual amount in, so that way. Uh, 300, we needed 400, so here, let's just do it this way. Six can go over there, and then 100 can go here. There we go. So that should allow us to make 200 exactly. All right, so I'm going to get that done, and then uh, once the map room is made, I will meet you guys. Um... I'll, I get, I'll just meet you guys at the entrance because, you know, we've already been up in this area three or four times in this series. So you, you should know, if you've been following along anyways, you should know how, to, how we got up there. Uh, in case you don't, there's a pathway here that you can follow to get up there. Um, or you can get up there, again, like I had mentioned, from going through the passage if you happen to be coming from the jungle. So I'll just meet you guys at the entrance to the volcano up here, and then we will proceed. Okay, so see you in a bit. All right, we are here at the volcano now, uh, or the volcano entrance. It's just directly ahead of us. Um, I think we have already killed a uh, a frost dragon. If we haven't, then let's let's do so. Uh, they're actually not as tough as like the red mother, which we've killed dozens of times already. I never actually did get the bow from her either. She's, you know, your typical dragon. And, oh, you guys are supposed to be following me. <laughs> uh, help, please. Oh, you know what, too? Our, our trainees, uh, they're actually level 20 now, so we're going to have to... We're going to have to do a... Um, you know, pit them against the arena champion. So that'll maybe we'll do that in the next episode. We'll see. But they're already leveled up, so. Thump, that's good. All right, let's put some uh, poison on our daggers here and get some poisons going. And some bleeds. I, th I wonder if they buff this dragon. It's a lot tougher than I remember it being. I'm starting to think maybe they did. Whack! Yeah, they must have buffed it, buffed her because, or it, or him, or whatever, because this dragon used to be a lot easier to kill. Didn't quite get the the roll out there. All right, let's get some uh, more poison on our daggers here. Knock me over right when I got to her. Oh yeah, we we fought one of these down in the bottom of the the frost temple. Um, but yeah, I don't remember that dragon being this tough, so I'm thinking they must have buffed her. 
Or him. I don't know if this is a her or a him. Let's get the fat loots. So you just get the usual stuff. Uh, well, we got 72 Dragon Balls. That's pretty good. Okay. Let's go ahead and proceed into the volcano. Right. What are you doing buried in the sand there? Or the snow? That's hilarious. Okay. Well, hopefully he'll teleport out. All right. So basically what you do is you just ride all the way up to here. And there's an entrance you can go through. And again, like I said, this is my favorite entrance into the volcano because of the fact yeah. that um, it's right near the obelisk. The highway. And here we are. Okay, so let's hop off the horse. Now, you're going to run into... Um, oh, this is a merchant. Okay. What can I get you? So you can buy ice for these guy, from these guys in case you happen to come up here. And didn't bring any with you. But uh, there's the obelisk straight ahead. So what we're going to do... Oh, what I was going to tell you is there's there's um, two kinds of NPC. Well, there's actually three kinds uh, of NPCs in the volcano. There are neutral NPCs, and then there are NPCs that will attack you on sight. There's two different kinds. Uh, and there's the Serpent Men, but the Serpent Men, you know, we won't run into up here. We have to go down into kind of the bowels of the volcano to do that. But if we get close to, um, let's see, let's take a look at these guys. Yeah, so these guys are going to just attack us on sight. But like I said, we'll also run into, like, neutrals. And then, of course, you've got, um, uh, you've got, um, obsidian-based, uh, rock... Rock guys up here. What the hell are these guys called? I can't think of it. Rock noses. <laughs> Rock noses up here too. So, um, all right. Let's do this first. Let's get the obelisk attuned, and then uh, we're gonna set the map room down here too. And then it makes the the volcano is a really good place to farm. Whoops. Um. So, let me put my stuff away. So you can farm gold here, you can farm obsidian here, you can farm for thralls here. And so it's it's definitely a place you're going to want to come to several times in the late game. Um, so what we're going to do is, there's really only one thrall here I'm actually interested in at this point. And, and that's not to suggest that, the, you know, that there aren't any good thralls here, because there's some of the best thralls in the game you can get in the volcano. Um, but in my experience, I haven't found them to be any better than, um, and maybe not even quite as good as, um, uh, Relic Hunters and even Sumerian Berserkers. Just, you know, just in my experience with the game. I'm not saying they're bad. They're, they are great thralls, but they're, they're not any better. And since it's kind of a pain in the ass to come up here and get them, um, you know, I, I'd prefer to just go after Relic Hunters and even Berserkers. Uh, but that's my own personal opinion. Some people might disagree, and that's absolutely fine. However, uh, there is a thrall up here, and his name is Spinus the Marauder, or Spinus, Spinus, Spinus. And he is purportedly, you know, the highest damage thrall in the game. Um, and so, but he's ultra rare. He's I've only seen him one time um, in... Uh, well, I might have seen him more than that, but I've only seen him once in my in a previous playthrough. After, you know, spending hours of real lifetime, you know, just coming back up here and looking all over for him. So, if we happen to run into him, I'm going to knock him out and, you know, we're going to take him. But I'm not going to go out of my way to look for him because he's just super rare. Okay. Um, so, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the map room down. So, that way we can um, get up, whoops, uh, get up here more quickly in the future. As needed so I'm just gonna stick the map room right over here there we go okay so now we have a way to teleport to here and a way to teleport from here um, so anyway yeah that's why I just brought this single wheel up here because Spinus is the only one I'm really actually interested in okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to it might it'll probably take us a couple of episodes to to do the volcano I'm thinking um, actually you know what I want I want that stone. I should have actually brought some stone up here the more I think about it. Because you can't harvest the... Oh, never mind. You can harvest this. My bad. Oh, it's not stone. It's wood that we should have brought with us. Because we're going to want to make some bridges. So what we're going to do... Or what I'm going to do... 
I don't think we can cut these trees. Let's just double check that though. Yeah, see we can't get wood from those trees. Um, there's a few places that you, you're you going to want to bring some, like, just some basic sandstone foundations with you um, so that you can um, bridge a couple of spots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to our base and is that where I want to go? Yeah, yeah, this one here. I'm going to grab some wood and stone and I'll meet you guys back here. Our place looks pretty badass from, from the distance. It's not all completely rendered in, but I'm liking it, man. It looks cool. It looks pretty damn cool. It should, man. We put so much work into that thing. <laughs> I enjoyed it, though. Conan is uh, a great game to build in. All right, we're going to head back to the volcano now, and uh, that's this final pylon here. And it'll take us right back to the obelisk, and we'll be in business. So it makes it very easy to get to and from the volcano. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to... Uh, we're going to... I'm going to just sh uh, show you around the volcano uh, first before we go after the boss and get the last artifact. So that's what we're gonna do. So um, let's hop on rock here. If I can get, okay, I can't get to him because everybody else is in the way. There we go. And we're gonna go over this way. And like I said, you're gonna run across these um, cultist guys um, and rock noses, they'll attack you. And you know, if you, again, like I said, if you come up here in the mid game, these are gonna be tough enemies. To, to kill. They're not a big deal for us now, but um, in the mid game. And then you'll also see, um, you know, like I said, neutral NPCs like these guys here. And as long as you don't attack them, of course, they won't attack you. So it's essentially anybody dressed in black is going to attack you unless it's, um, you know, like a, a merchant. This is another merchant here, Essel the Trader, who will sell you ice if you need it. And then this is, these guys are basically. Um, yeah, see, we got... I, I should probably have put my dudes on on defend, but, you know, they're just going to attack everybody, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll let them attack everybody. And then this guy up here is an NPC. He's kind of like the um, the leader of the um, Skelos, Skelos people. Um, Vathis the Hierophant. And let's just hear, see what he has to say. Pilgrim seeks wisdom, yes. But in the bedlam of these exiled lands, a pilgrim needs a sagacious tongue to pass out the wisdom from the chaos. <laughs> and who is more sagacious than I? I am Vathis, Hierophant of the votaries of Skelos. My past? <laughs> I was a scholar. Vizier to the King of Ophir, a royal commission and a round belly. Never mind my past. Calamity put me on the road that takes all lost things to these exiled lands. I wandered north, past fertile highlands, past frozen slopes, all the way to the caldera of the volcano. The time Nord ruins piqued my curiosity. Here, I found the well. Here, I founded my cult, and here I remain until I puzzle out the secret to escaping this prison. When I realized that the voices in the well were the key to salvation, I cast off my earthly possessions. I shed my old life like an old skin. I recruited followers. The devout became the votaries of Skelos. Amid Cyclopean ruins, 
We live and study. Every night, we march in a line, robe cloaked and torch bearing. Every night, we cast our offerings into the well. We listen. Only I have glimpsed the Book of Skelos. Only my tongue knows the forking path. Only I can translate the hissing whispers in the dark. The voices in the well enlighten. Someday soon, I will puzzle out their riddles and escape these exile lands. At the volcano's heart, I found a well. Down, it extended down into the darkness infinite. All through the night, I sat by the well. <laughs> I heard sibilant voices from below. Such voices! They croomed in the dim in tongues I have remembered from my glimpse into the Book of Skellos so many years ago. But an unprepared pilgrim must never approach the well. Its knighted cadence would flay your soul. A pilgrim understands, yes. Only the worthy of Skellos may approach the well. But for a courteous pilgrim, I could serve as an intermediary. This is acceptable, yes. In my youth, I happened upon the Book of Skelos. The tome sought after by many and many a sorcerer. In its pages, I glimpsed the nameless sagas. I sounded the grim grammar that enslaves the elements, occasions the dead to rise, and summons the demons from the outer dark. In its pages, I spied the graveyard of the universe, through the gulfs of space and wells of night. In its pages, I gazed into the pits of Aralu. In its verses, Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, so we can pretty much more or less um, figure out the story here. You know, he's basically some nut nut job that came up to the volcano and founded a cult based upon the Well of Skellis, um, and which we are going to have to go through in order to get the artifact uh, and do our last dungeon of the game. And... Um, you know, but then he talks about this book of Skellis, which uh, I don't think you act actually ever come across um, here in uh, in the game. At least I'd, I've never had that, that I can think of. And uh, so, yeah, he gives us a little bit of backstory about what's going on here. Now, one thing I've never kind of figured out is how all these humans up can survive the heat in the volcano without, you know, all of the equipment and stuff that we have to survive it. But apparently somehow they can. And so anyway... Um, that gives you a little bit of backstory there uh, with what's going on. Now, um, from a practical point of view, this is one of the reasons why you might want to come to the volcano because you can mine obsidian, you can mine raw ash, uh, which you need to uh, make some potions that can like reset your uh, attributes and stuff like that. And you can also get gold uh, from these two. So you see, I just picked up some gold stone. So um, obsidian weapons. Uh, which we'll take a look at uh, when we get back to our, our, our base, um, are, you know, some of the best weapons in the game. They're even better than star metal weapons. And so, you know, you wanna, you'll want to come up here at some point and mine uh, enough obsidian to make that stuff. The thing about the obsidian, however, is that you can't smelt it. Uh, <laughs> poor guy was minding his own business. You guys just kicked the shit out of him. You know, that's probably not good because if we run across... Um, uh, if we run across Spinus, then these guys are going to attack him. I should probably change them to defensive mode or something. 
Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, so you have to take the obsidian, you have to smelt it along with steel in the volcanic um, forge, which we will find when we go through the Well of Skellis. Um, so what we're going to do for now, though, is we're going to go ahead and um, uh, just put this stuff on the horse because it is pretty heavy. I'm going to show you another way to quickly get gold uh, up in the volcano, too, as we, as we go through here. Uh, but that should be enough for now. I, I can always come up here now that we have the teleporter in the map room and, and mine more later off camera if I need to. So, yeah, let's let's set these guys to defensive mode because, you know, Spinus is so rare that if we run into him and these guys kill him, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> uh, so let's go engagement. Um, guard me so they won't attack anybody unless I'm attacked. And if we come across Spinus, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just send these guys home temporarily while I knock him out. Okay, so guard me, Varpner 3, uh, guard me, and Varpner 2, whoops, wrong button there, and then sink, sink the pillow dancer, you guard me. Alright, we should be good to go then, uh, for these guys not attacking people uh, automatically. All right, let's go through here, um, and you know the the these uh, Skelos votaries of Skelos people can be from all kinds of different races, and you can find some really good craftsmen up here too, like you know some tier four uh, craftsmen up here. So again, it's, it's just a really good place to come and farm uh, for all of those reasons. And you can uh, you can harvest those guys for stone and obsidian and that sort of thing. Um, let's check these guys out. Okay, that's a level two taskmaster, level two smelter. We're not interested in them. So we're gonna just work our way along through here and you know continue uh, looking for potential. Well, normally what I would do, I should say, is looking for potential thralls that we could tame. Uh, but again, like I said, we're really only interested at this point in. Spinus, if we can actually find him. Um, so you can come across this way and go up into that area, but we're going to actually come into that area from a different direction uh, in a little while here. Uh, but what I will usually do if I'm making the rounds is I'll come through here. Spinus is going to be wearing this kind of a reptile skin armor, but he's also going to have a helmet on too. So, you know, if you don't see somebody in the reptile armor with kind of a conical looking helmet on then you know it's not spinous so this guy obviously isn't uh, gonna be spinous either he's just a level one archer okay let's go back this way we'll get on our horse here whoops I that didn't mean to do that, but since we did it, they're going to be angry now. Here they come. <laughs> Our guys will take them out. So let's go down here. And it looks like we need to drink, so uh, we've got that uh, Kari water skin, which is awesome because uh, it holds a lot more charges. And let's eat, too, while we're at it. We'll take one more drink. Uh, definitely bring stuff to drink when you come up here too for obvious reasons so he's going after her running backwards that's funny okay so when it now when we come down to here we're gonna check these guys okay um you there isn't a way down from here um in you know there's no stairs or anything so you have to just jump down here and then you, of course you can climb back up there later if you want to level two blacksmith level two smelter um, okay, so let's go down through here. We're going to have some hostiles down here. And, but again, we're, okay, so here's a, here's a named archer. So if we needed, we, we kind of do need another archer, but I'm not going to mess with it right now. Um, but this is a, a good, a, this would be a good archer for us to grab, um, if we wanted to. If I wanted to take the time to do it, I guess I'm what I'm trying to say, but I'm not going to do it right now. Especially since we only have a one person wheel up here. 
That's just a level one fighter. Now these guys over here, these are the cultists. They will attack us. Uh, so let's take them out. Come on, you dumbasses, attack. You're supposed to be defending me. Okay. All right, so yeah, you can kill these guys, and of course you can loot them too like anybody else. Um, in fact, you know what we should do? We should take any steel off of any enemies that we kill. Um, that's just a... I'm going to take the black die too. Uh, that's just a, a a mod thing, so I don't care about that. So let's take the steel. And the reason being, again, is because you need the steel in order to uh, smelt the obsidian. Uh, the Skelis Cultus hood is kind of cool. It, it looks really cool to wear it. So, you know, if you, it's kind of a more of a role-playing thing. It doesn't really give you any buffs. Uh, but then the, this stairway goes down here and then kind of over to another pathway over there. But we're going to get over there from a different route. I would check that guy if he had a helmet on, but he doesn't. So we know for sure that that's not Spinus. Okay, so let's go back up this way. And then... Uh, this is an, another one of the pathways to get into the volcano. We're just kind of following it in reverse. Um, and there's more obsidian and stuff that you can uh, find here. And Spinus can spawn down here. Road of the Righteous. Um, so that's just an Archer 1, a Zamorian Fighter 1. This is another merchant that you can, again, um, buy berry juice from if you want to, to help keep you cool if you didn't come prepared. But don't not come prepared. <laughs> Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to just follow this road down a ways uh, to show you kind of where the path comes up. But you can find down here sometimes a gold rock nose will spawn. And you can get a decent amount of gold off of me. It doesn't look like he's there right now. But if you uh, follow this road of the pilgrim and just kind of keep following it down, I'll, I'll show you uh, where it comes out at. Okay, so you can see that we're uh, behind the uh, the Black Keep where we defeated uh, Tiros and got the Tears of Two Races a couple episodes ago, I think it was. Um, and so if we look on the map, this is where I am at right here. Okay, so there's the Black Keep, and then you can just follow this valley up in through here uh, t to get up here uh, as one of the entrances into the cave. Uh, I'm sorry, into the volcano. I think the other one that I was talking about is right here. The one that I said had kind of like a, a dragon's mouth. And we can probably determine that um, when we go, uh, uh, when I show you where the other entrance is. <clears throat> but anyway, this is just kind of a long run, you know, to get back up there. Uh, this is called the Pilgrim's Road. And again, one of the entrances to the volcano. Not my favorite entrance because here again, uh, it's quite a long ways away from the obelisk and uh, so the entrance that i we first went through is is the best one in my opinion to use especially if you're going to be coming to the volcano to farm all right let's head on back up okay so this is uh where we we came down the road and now what we're going to do is we're going to follow this road up we'll run into a couple of rock noses that we can kill if we want to lots of obsidian along this path here uh, but we're going to go to another spot that i like to farm gold from a gold rock nose if we can I'm surprised that other one wasn't there because I've never not seen it there that's kind of weird I wonder if something changed okay so we're gonna have to hop off the horse here um, and kind of come down around this way now these uh, those are the stairs that we were on earlier that little red area is where we got in the fight with those four um, cultists um, so we're just kind of on the other side now uh, from where we were so let's walk down here 
and the the lava will of course hurt you if you step in it um and it'll hurt your thralls too especially if you're playing on vanilla now i've got a setting that i adjusted that basically negates lava damage on your thralls and um let's let's see if we can actually see that so if i go uh, it, this is the mod control panel, so this is a mod that you have to add. It doesn't come vanilla. Um, but if we go into, and you have better thralls, if we go into better thralls, um, oh, you know what? I think I have to be, I think I have to be in admin mode for this to work. So here, let's do this. Let's go into settings. Make me an admin. Okay, so we're going to press shift plus end. Then we're going to go to better thralls. And we're gonna go to server settings. Lava damage. Okay, so basically what this says is uh, lava damage is not prevented, but a buff on appropriate counter healing is applied to your thrall or pet. And the reason for that is because your thralls can be really stupid and they'll just like walk through the lava or fall in the lava. And so this is kind of a way to just compensate that. So if you set this setting as a hundred, basically it's going to negate 100% of the lava damage and you won't lose your thralls or pets uh, to, to lava deaths due to stupidity. Okay, so that's what uh, that's what that setting is. But you have to have better thralls and you have to have the mod control panel mod in order to uh, make that adjustment from here. You can probably adjust it in an XML file or something uh, otherwise, but I don't know how to do it that way. I just use the mod control panel. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually jump across the lava here. Now, if you step in the lava momentarily, um, you know, it's not going to insta-kill you, but it, it will eventually. And then, again, there's usually a, a gold rock nose that spawns up here. There he is. Okay. There he is. So what I'm going to, what I like to do when I come up here to farm is I like to kill the gold rock noses. And you can get a decent amount of gold off these guys from harvesting them, uh, especially if you use a pick or a pickaxe. Okay, so let's harvest him. And we got, um... We got 45 goldstone uh, just off of that one guy, and and again, there's usually one down the on the opposite end of the, you know, that pathway that we were on. But for whatever reason, it didn't spawn this time. Okay, so uh, at this point now, let's go back this way. And um, you, one of the things you can get at the volcano is you can get um, gold lotus. I got my wrong, I got my wrong, the wrong tool. Um, and you need golden lotus for, you know, certain types of, of the elixirs you can make. And so, yeah, this is golden lotus and this is how you get it here in the exiled lands. All right, now let's go around this way. We're giving you guys the tour. <laughs> and as you can see, there's all kinds of a sitting around uh, that you can mine as, as needed and whatnot. Uh, but we're going to rock around here. We're going to go kind of... We're basically making a big circle back around the way we came. Let's come up over this way. Um, that's actually a gold rock nose, too. Okay, let's kill him. I don't usually come over this way when I'm when I'm making my rounds farming, but um, I probably should now that I see a gold gold guy. Okay, so we got uh, I don't know 40ish or so, and lots more obsidian over here that you can get too. Now what we want to do is we want to kind of actually we want to go back this way. I came a little too far, but I'm glad we did though because we found the gold rock nose there. Let's go back this way. And we're going to walk up this path here. And it's going to take us to another entrance that you can get into the volcano. So these guys are cultists. They're going to they're going to attack us. Whoops. And that's a named um, Airy the Ravager. I've actually uh, t uh, tamed him before. He's okay. He's not, like I said, in my experience, he's not any better than like a, a treasure hunter. But he's good, though. Okay, let's take care of this. 
Uh, okay, this is Tim of the Slithering, also a, a tier four named archer. Uh, someone who I if I would be interested in getting if I would have brought a larger wheel up here. <laughs> okay, he did. All right, so this leads us to the other entrance to the volcano. So let's uh, take a bandage. And we'll go down that way uh, too uh, after we, we look at this. So this is another um, uh, teleport entrance as opposed to walking all the way. And it's the one that I was talking about that has the... Oh, no, this isn't the one with the mouth. Okay, never mind. This isn't the one with the mouth. Uh, let's see where we're at on the map, though. Okay, so we popped out basically right here. So the one with the mouth, I think, is right here. You know what we could do? I'm in admin mode. Let's just, so for your guys' benefit, let's just teleport here really quick um, and make sure that that's the one. Got to wait for everything to load in. Um, no, this is just a walk-in entrance, I guess. But this is the entrance that you can get to from the ridge, okay? So I told you guys earlier, uh, if you come, if you walk along this ridge here, um, you just kind of come along this path that I'm looking at to here, and then it intersects with this other path that goes down into the forest there. And we are on this side of the Black Keep. The other place we came out was over on this side. And then, again, you can just go right on up uh, to the volcano uh, this direction. This is called the Hidden Way. It's really steep, too. <laughs> look, how, look at the grade on this, but you can still walk up it, though. It doesn't seem like you can in some places, but you can. Uh, so let's just go into the volcano from here so you guys can see where it is. Okay, so it basically brings you out here. And we, we already went by here because you can see we got the dead rock noses. That's where we came up uh, from down below, and we went around that way. And so now let's just go back to uh, here where we came out and go back through that direction. I'll have to see if I can remember where that other pathway is that has the has the mouth on it. Um, yeah, we'll figure that out later. Okay, so let's go down oh, yeah. here now. And this is, you know, kind of the... We're, we're basically like on the opposite side of where we spawned in and put our... Uh, where the obelisk is. The obelisk is, is across the way there. So we're kind of on the other side of the crater of the volcano. So what you can do is you can come down this way. Uh, you have to make sure you jump this path here. And then you can go down this way, and this is one of the ways that you can get down into the to the well, down in the middle of the volcano. So you just follow these stairs down through here. What we'll do is we'll go down this way, but we'll come back up the other way. Okay, we got a, a cultist here that wants to mix it up with this. Okay, let's go down this way. We got some golden lotus there. Now, um, what we actually wanted to do was get to that path. Um, so that comes back up through there. What I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to... We're at full health, right? This is not necessarily advisable. <laughs> uh, it's a little narrower here. So let's just go dip, boop. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to kind of just get on the path over here. Okay, let's go back up this path because uh, just to see where it comes out at. It's really steep. But you can, st as long as you stay on the, like, the gray part here, you can walk on it. This is what I was actually looking for, but I think we went a little too far. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is the path, I think, that comes out with uh, the mouth. 
the reason why I'm, uh, uh, you know, I'm not 100% certain about this is because I don't usually use these paths. I usually use the one that, you know, that we went to where we, by the obelisk. So what happens is you kind of come into this little cave here. There's nothing in this cave in terms of monsters or anything. It's just a, a cave, you know, that you have to go through. But it does have the lava and stuff in it. And then you come through here. And back out through this way. Dragon mouth. There we go. Okay, so let's get back down here a little ways. And then we'll turn around and look at the dragon mouth. I want to get further out. It's pretty big. There we go. Okay, so that's the dragon mouth entrance uh, to the volcano. So we've basically covered all the entrances now. Um, so you got Dragon Mouth, you got the flow, we got uh, the highway, which is the way I like to go, and then the hidden way uh, right here, which you can either get to from this way or from going up this valley, and then Road of the Pilgrim. So those are all the entrances to the volcano. But again, my recommendation is to use the highway because it's right next to the obelisk. Okay, let's head on back into the volcano. So this path um, will take you right down to the well. And um, if you come through that entrance, you don't even have to cross any, any lava. Um, so it's probably the quickest and easiest way to get to the well. But the, the place by the obelisk, if you place a couple of bridges in a, in a few spots, which I will show you, then that's probably about just as fast to get to except for you will have to fight enemies on the way down which may not be a bad thing if you're looking for xp or you know loot and that sort of thing but this basically takes us right to the well of skellis right here now we're not going to do the well uh in this episode uh, that we're going to say that for the next episode but um okay we got a a, a nasty rock nose guy here So let's deal with him. Now, when you get to the well, um, there are enemies in the well. There's going to be cultists that you're going to have to fight. And uh, it's pretty dark in here, too. In fact, it's, it's like really dark in here. Uh, we might need to... Uh, right, let's get over here for a second so I'm out of the immediate line of fire. Uh, I want to put this on so we can see what the hell's going on. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Okay, so we killed these guys. Um, again, let's um, let's grab the steel off of them. What I should have done is I should have brought a bunch of steel with me, but I just didn't think about it, so... Um, yeah, let's just get the steel. I don't care about any of the other stuff. And this is the Well of Skelets. And what you do, um, to get into the, the final dungeon of the game and get the Shining Trapaho Seedrin, who's my was it? <laughs> I should probably try and make an effort to, to learn how to pronounce that. Maybe someday. Maybe not. Anyway, you jump down in there and you enter the dungeon. But again, like I said, we're not going to do that in this episode. Okay, so the well is a good place to farm for thralls, so you can come through here. I don't know if they darkened this in the last update, because I don't remember it being this dark in here, but maybe it's because it's nighttime. Um, but it, it seems, even for nighttime though, it seems excessively dark. Um, so, you know, if that's the case, and it looks like maybe it is, make sure you bring your witch doctor mask if you have it, or a light source, because, you know, if I take this thing off, it is really dark in here. I mean, I can't even see. To you guys, it's probably pitch black on, on YouTube. Um, super, super dark. Now, we do have this, too, um, which we could use. That way we can keep our helmet on. But, yeah, I think they did. I really think they darkened it up in here. It certainly looks that way. Yeah, let's pick up the steel off of these guys. 
Uh, yeah, right there. Okay. All right, so basically this is just a circular structure, but it's got multiple levels that you can go along. And, um, and you can kill these guys, uh, or you can, you can look for thralls down here, and Spinus uh, and other named thralls can't spawn, but they're a little tougher to get down here because of the fact that you're, you know, you, you're going to have to fight them the whole time, right? So this direction down here will lead back up to where we placed, uh, where the, the, um, uh, the obelisk is. Uh, so it's kind of up that way. So we're going to go back up this way uh, when we leave uh, the well here. But let's uh, take a look at uh, a couple of things that I want to show you whilst we're here. So if you walk around this way okay you got some stairs and there's there's some thralls up here you can check them uh, sometimes they can be really high level t4s usually the not uh, but what happens is you aggro these stupid skull uh, skultus cultus and then you just kind of get into a big fight with everybody so again it's your best bet if you're coming here to tame thralls is to just have your thralls all be fitted with a truncheon and knock everybody out because it can be otherwise very difficult to capture those dudes. And then across the way here we have another... What are you? Uh, a level 2 armor. Okay. Now this is our first uh, serpent man enemy. And we're gonna you're going to have to fight a lot of these guys um, when you get down into the into the well. Um, Hosh the Venomous is another T4 archer uh, that you can that you can uh, capture if you want to, but in this case, we're just gonna take her out. So you, you basically go around this level uh, and kill and or, you know, knock out or whatever everybody that you're after. Um, let's switch to our poison axe here. No steel on you. So yeah, these are the serpent men guys. Okay, so he's got some obsidian arrows. We'll be able to make these ourselves, you know, once we get uh, some obsidian smelted and all that. Here's a chest here with some gold and silver. We'll take that. Now, what you want to look for to get to the next level is there is an out, an exterior stairway right here. And sometimes uh, there probably was a mob here, but I think we aggroed them. Um, and a chest. So now you go up along the outside here to the next level. And uh, same thing. You basically go around. There's, the higher up you get, the more serpent men you're going to run into. They're actually not that hard to kill, though. You'd, since they're supposed to be such these badass, scary enemies that even the Witch Queen's afraid of. I think they'd be a little tougher than they are, but they're not. So. Okay, let's grab the steel. He's got a little obsidian, obsidian on him, too, but... Don't worry about that right now. Okay, so it looks like it is starting to brighten up here. So it, they just made it darker at nighttime, which is appropriate for sure. Can't see what the hell's going on. He's got an obsidian hammer. Uh, you know what you can do is you can take that and melt it down in the in the uh, you know the whose was it bench and get obsid composite obsidian which is really what you need okay um so let's go i think we've gone pretty much all the way around here now once you get to this level there isn't an easy way to get to the next level you have to climb i've seen some people climb up the inside but it's far far easier to climb up the outside so what i do is i just kind of you can come out here it's probably a little safer to do it at that place where the stairs come up, which I think is back around uh, this way. Where's it at? Let's go go around a little further. Yeah, kind of over here, because if you fall, you know you have a you still have 
here that you can fall on and you're not going to fall all the way to your death. Okay, and then basically you just climb up this way. And again, you know, uh, do this where I'm showing you. Don't try and do it from the inside. It's very difficult to climb up from the inside because, you know, there's so many overhangs and just kind of weird janky spots that you could fall. Okay, now when you get up here, you're going to have these, um, these bigger lizards. They're a little tougher, but again, not that hard to kill. Uh, they are resistant to poison, though, so I should be using my Yogg's Touch for more armor penetration instead of my Poison Axe. Okay, so we killed him. You can harvest them, you know, for, for a reptile hide and stuff like that, too. But again, I'm not in, really interested in that stuff right now. I just want to... I just want the steel for now. Steel and sparks. Okay. And then, um, yeah, so you, you just make your rounds as usual. Kill all these guys. Nice. Nice miss there. <laughs> That's just mod stuff there. All right, we got a chest here with nothing in it we really care about. And so we'll go back around to the stairs. And at the top of these stairs, uh, again, you can run into some more thralls. So if you're going to thoroughly farm the whole place, you, you, you want to come all the way up here and check and see who's up here. Okay, so yeah, there's a, a thrall that way, and we got one here. She's a level 3 archer. I should uh, use my poison axe on these guys. Okay, he's dead. So you, you know, you guys know how tough my character is by now. You know, we got top end armor, we're like max level, and these guys are still putting the hurt on me. So you just, you know, just be aware they're not easy enemies to defeat. It's if you come up here, you know, before you're really ready to, they will own you. But that's the way it should be. I mean, the volcano is like an end game zone, so. Okay. So there's a chest here with nothing in it apparently and there is a stone a recipe stone and this teaches you all the serpent uh, men uh, armor and weapons and stuff so if you're interested in you know learning that stuff making that stuff then that's how you get the recipe for it okay there's nothing else up above there I've been up there uh, before and there's no chest or anything so not really any reason to go up any further okay cool now if your intention is to go into the dungeon you can just jump down into the well all the way from up here let's eat and drink um, so yeah you can just jump all the way down into the well from here and it's the fastest way to get down uh, if you want to go into the dungeon but of course like I said we're not gonna do that until the next episode so we're gonna go back down the uh, the hard way, I guess you would you could say, but not that it's going to be that hard. So we'll just run down here, uh, come out to where we climbed up ish. Okay, so let's get down here, and we're just going to work our way around. Actually, I should have gone to that side, but we'll be okay because that's like too low. <laughs> Two levels all the way down. Okay, let's drop here and then uh he didn't grab. That's right. We're good. We're good. Got a little hurt, but not not too bad.
Okay, so this is the main way you would get into the well. You kind of just jump off of this platform. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go full circle uh, back up to where we, we started from. So you can come down here. And what I will usually do is um, we want to get to that area over there. So we have some lava to cross. Now, one thing you can do is you can jump on these little floating things because uh, they'll float down the river to get down here which is fine you know for a one-time shot uh, but if you're going to come back uh, here multiple times um, then it's best to just kind of make yourself like uh, some bridges across the lava uh, to, to do that easily so all you really just need to do is you know get make some foundations so let's um uh, we're gonna have to get the wood off of the horse and remember, you can't get wood here in the in the volcano, so you have to bring wood with you. You can get stone, but you can't get wood. Okay, let's go into here, and we're just going to make a bunch of sandstone foundations. Let's just crap the shitload of those. And then we're just going to set them down so we can cross uh, the lava without getting roasted. Should have held that uh, held these a little higher, so. Okay. So we just make ourselves a little path here, <clears throat> and then uh, likewise we want to just get across this way, so. And then, yeah, so this is the path you want to get to. We we tagged the lava a little bit, but not, not enough to make, worry about. And then you just run up here. Another place Spinus the Marauder can spawn is here at the walkway of the Devout. I've never seen him over here, but it, uh, according to the wiki, he can spawn over here. So if you're looking for him, this is a, another place to come and check. There isn't really anything uh, over that way. You can go up that way and uh, mine some more obsidian if you want to, but I don't think there's anything else up there. And then you have this gap here. Okay, so again, uh, what you can do is just put like um, some foundations there. And there you go. And that's all you have to bridge. So now we're just gonna go up this stairs uh, these stairs here, and this will take us back up to the obelisk and where our wheel is. And we've pretty much gone full circle. Now, here in the volcano, let's get our shield back on our toolbar. You can walk up um, these stairs if you want to. Um, oh, look at that. That's some pretty good loot. We'll take all of that stuff. Um, or you can just go, you know, take a little bit of a shortcut and go straight up this way. Path of the Penitent is what this is called. You can ride your horse up this way, too. It's just a little faster if you're trying to make your rounds and you're just farming. But there are com a couple enemies down there that you'll have to kill. And there are a couple enemies um, over here, too. And another rock nest. This might be another um, named, yeah, that's another Hosh the Venomous Archer. And here we are, back to our map room, the highway entrance, and our wheel in the obelisk. So we've pretty much gone full circle, guys, around the volcano. Oh, the one area I didn't show you actually was this area over here. Let's go look at that really quick, and then we're going to wrap up this episode. So if we come this way... Uh, we went up to the left and talked to, you know, the, the cultist leader, but you can also go uh, this path. And, of course, you know, we're going to have to fight some more cultists. But this area is uh, has a lot of um, alchemists in here, and it's also poisonous. So, you know, we have protection against poison because of our... Our attributes, or not our attributes, but our, our, our perks or whatever you want to call it. Um, so, you know, we're immune to it. But if you come up here without it and you get into this area with all this cloud stuff, that, that'll actually poison you. Uh, but there's like a bunch of... Ooh, this is a named alchemist. Wow. 
I've never seen him up here. Uh, we don't need him, because uh, we already have name documents. But yeah, so again, you can come up here um, and con continue looking for thralls. This um, walkway, you, you go down, you, you fight a, a few more cultists, and then it comes out uh, right here, which is uh, one of the paths that we were uh, on earlier. Okay, so that just kind of takes you to the other side of the... The, um... Wh Huzuma was it? The, the, the volcano crater is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so this stuff... Uh, what do you get off this? Can't remember. We harvest these plants. Oh, yeah, okay, so you get the cock cochineal. The pr prickly pear stuff, that's a, a modded item. That's not a vanilla item. Um, but you can get these and you can turn these into uh, red dye. Uh, so that's what you get from harvesting those guys. And then this just kind of goes back down around to the lower area, which we were already at um, earlier. Okay, so I think that pretty much shows you uh, the volcano, um, everything that's in the volcano area, except for, of course, the well itself, uh, which we will be doing in the next episode. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video, and we will catch you in the next episode where we're going to go do the Well of Skellis. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.